what I have found from uh, information that I have looked into for loved ones who I know who have heart disease is that cholesterol numbers really are a very poor predictor of heart disease. Um, as a matter of fact, more than half of the people that are hospitalized with heart attacks have perfectly normal cholesterol levels. And uh, the other half of the people with elevated cholesterol levels have perfectly normal hearts or tickers. <laughs> they don't have any problem. So that disqualifies, in my mind, that disqualifies uh, cholesterol numbers as being the most important part of that picture. I haven't just ascertained these things on my own. Um, I have read by leading cardiologists. I have met with integrative cardiologists and preventative MDs in closely working with, as I said, a family member who had uh, has been diagnosed with heart disease. So uh, it looks to me from my findings that lowering your cholesterol level has very limited benefits where heart disease is concerned. Well, the real cause that I found uh, in, in my findings, and that's in the cardiologist's findings, is inflammation. And obviously, uh, inflammation, uh, in two of the studies that I, that I looked at uh, just frequently, or just recently, sorry, <laughs> just recently, uh, is that there are certain lifestyle changes that can reduce uh, deaths by up to 70%. And uh, those same lifestyle changes reduce cardiovascular deaths by 76%.